right now it's the heart of Austin and that's where everyone wants to be, but soon it will be, if you're within an hour of Austin, it's considered Austin. Austin's flow of people is changing. Travis County's loss to some extent, it's Williamson County's gain, that kind of idea. Between July of 2022 and July of 2023, U.S. Census Bureau data shows a negative migration for Travis County. About 2,500 more people left the county than moved in. They are, you know, one singular point in time, and so it's important to, you know, just consider them and take them with a, with a grain of salt. The last time this happened was in 2002 when the dot-com stock bubble crashed. City of Austin demographer Leela Valencia says what's happening now is similar as the city starts to see a decline in the tech industry. Because migration is very much an economic sort of um, factor. Claire Lucy is the housing economist for the Austin Board of Realtors. She says it all comes down to affordability. Home prices and rents in Travis County are higher than in the other four outlying counties. Melanie and Jordan Suber are a real estate power couple with EXP Realty. Melanie says right now, more and more people are looking to surrounding counties to find cheaper home and rent prices. Why would I pay for a seven or $800,000 house when I'm just working from home and I can live in a three or $400,000 house? Jordan adds this doesn't mean buying a home in Austin is impossible. You can buy homes for below market value because the home is not moving as quickly as it used to back in 2021 and 2022. Lucy says the biggest problem is a lack of space for new homes which will need to be addressed. That's largely going to have to be in the form of redevelopment. So either teardowns and rebuilds or infill. And for that reason, Valencia notes the slowdown in growth may not be a bad thing. There is a time to allow to uh, to allow us to kind of catch up with that growth. Reporting in Austin, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.